Hi guys, Jordan from Traders Terminal. The second video for today is going to be based on Aussie Frank. Once again, we're looking at Platform X software and we're trying to figure out where the price is going. Uh, general analysis here are telling us that the mid-term direction is bullish. Both the long-term and the shorter term are showing still neutral, which means my focus is going to be on the combination of these time frames and that being said what i'm going to do now is go ahead and check out how the price action looks like across these time frames so starting from the daily chart what i can see is that the price started and actually managed to already go ahead and break uh, this long-term trend line here okay and this is a pretty significant breakout actually to be honest i was looking for this to provide some opportunities right here we had a fantastic level and this level is now turning into uh, support rather than resistance okay so after this breakout clearly the pair starts to gain some momentum and that means as the software is suggesting we can be looking for the pullbacks and the bullish opportunities if we drop to the lower time frames, there is something super interesting that we can see here. You see this cluster of zones, the dashed lines, those are all pivot points. So if we hover over, we can say C, resistance one, monthly chart, support three, daily chart, and support weekly chart. So this is a pretty significant zone that was broken to the upside, right? This is absolutely fantastic breakout push down holding the level and now it starts to push up now my guess at this point because it could be a simple guess right i don't have a crystal ball or anything but my guess is that we're going for consolidation if that would be the case that means i should be focusing on the buys and i should be focusing on the buys from inside this zone approximately um that being said let's see what do we have in terms of actually let's start with daily chart and see where the levels are so this is definitely a zone that we should be paying attention to and guess what that starts to fit with the initial plan dropping down to the four hour chart once again we can go ahead and see where the levels are now in this case the optimal zone is approximately here right but this is doesn't I mean, this doesn't really help us in our case because it's kind of below the level that I would expect to hold for this scenario to be uh, valid, right? So the level that I should be looking at on the lower time frames is this one. Now, this is the daily and this is the four hour chart. So that starts to give me a pretty accurate zone of the bigger picture right so we can say we have two levels more or less one we have already tested with this spike and the second one is at the bottom where these levels are so the optimal zone of course makes sense to be right here and all we're doing up until this point is to figure out what direction we should be trading so yeah it actually makes sense and when you look at all these levels and when you look at the price action when you look at the momentum it fits right it makes sense i like where it's pushing furthermore look at where the four hour chart invalidation is based on the software right below the zone so once again everything is lining up and it starts to make a lot of sense now the bottom line here is that i would like to see the price holding this zone as the software is suggesting i would like to see the price pushing up one more super important thing um, in such cases once and if you get triggered and your target say is somewhere around the top at least the first target right because the risk reward ratio is usually good enough it's a good practice to take profit here first time and in case this is the end of the range and the price breaks up it's usually a good idea to hold some small position um, for the final target 
being that wave here. Okay, so once the structure ends, you can go ahead and close the entire position. But usually after these breakouts, you can see the price doing these massive moves, right? So think about this one. Let's say you're trading this range and you're buying around this zone. Okay, just for example, or here. You collect first target and then the price doesn't kick you out in break even. You move the stop loss to break even, right? It doesn't kick you out, but it breaks. Once the breakout happens, usually you have these massive moves that come after the consolidations. Or here, you're selling, okay, target one, and then you have a beautiful move happening afterwards. So what I'm trying to say is if you have a small portion with this kind of a risk reward ratio. So basically, let's say this is 10 pips, okay? Just for example, then look at the risk reward ratio versus the first one you, you get, let's say 20, and then you get, I don't know how many, but it's multiple X's here, okay? So a very tiny position, if you're holding it after the breakout and you don't get kicked out, it can be delivering pretty much another full, uh, a risk, okay, a risk trade. Once you go ahead and do that move, the price, I mean. So that's about Tozi Frank. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. But until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.